Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is November 12th, 2016, and the evidence just keeps pouring in day after day, week after week. And I keep hearing from all of the naysayers, why are astronomers not reporting on Planet X, Nibiru? Well, We've already uncovered that over 125 astronomers have been killed or murdered since the discovery of Planet X, Nibiru. And that started off with Dr. Robert Harrington. But we do have an astronomer that is coming forward, that is producing imagery from a telescope, from an observatory, and that information, meaning his name and the location and the country of that observatory, will stay with me in confidence. However, the photographs and the imagery that he has produced in the first 10 days of November 2016 are absolutely incredible. Now, I am not a professional photographer or astrophotographer, but he did list all of the equipment and the techniques in which these photographs were taken from an observatory by a man who is a professional astronomer, not an amateur on a YouTube channel. The imagery that you are witnessing in this video clearly shows a large planetary body moving out from behind the sun. There is no doubt that Earth is under a direct threat from this planet. It has also been brought to my attention that this planet is very strong in the sense that it has a ton of energy magnetic energy. It is a very forceful planet and it is a destructive planet when compared with Earth. It is much larger than our planet and when it does cross Earth's orbital plane it will definitely cause serious problems. I've also been informed that this planet does contain other planets that would be considered moons. However, these moons, these other smaller planets, are of no threat to Earth. They are not charged with this super magnetism. They have no core. Some of them are small gas planets, as it was described to me in layman's terms, so I can understand it. However, the mother planet, if you want to call it, is very powerful, much more powerful than the Earth. During the positioning of this planet, near the sun, it interacted with the sun over the past six months. It has caused a lot of damage to the sun, but the sun will definitely recover. It was also explained to me that as this planet approached the sun, the sun did slow the orbit down considerably. Now that the planet has moved up and over the sun, it will slowly create its own breakaway speed and move out of our solar system. Once again, it has also been brought to my attention that as this planet approaches within the next 140 days, in the days, weeks, and months, we will start to feel the effects of this planet. There is no doubt. 
I also wanted to touch on a subject that I've been receiving so many emails about individuals that are viewing the International Space Station photographs and video and seeing a large rock out in front of the space station. Well, the imagery is there. It's a large asteroid. It is stuck in orbit around the Earth, and that is what you are seeing. You also have to understand that NASA and the world governments are not going to come out and publicly say that there is an asteroid stuck in Earth's orbit because everyone would panic. That is what this is all about. It is about those elite losing control over the world population. Remember, we outnumber them, and they do not want to lose control. So therefore, they will keep you in the dark. No matter what you see, no matter what the evidence is, clearly going across the screen now, they are not going to tell you facts. Now, I took photographs all through the summer and going into the fall. And the photographs that you're viewing now were photographs taken by myself, clearly showing this object below the sun. I took these photographs every day the entire summer. I documented what I was seeing in all of my YouTube videos. And I was highly criticized. And I still am highly criticized. But what I am seeing and what I photographed is now coming out by a professional astronomer. And the bottom line is, Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is a threat to our planet, and that threat is real. I cannot stop this threat, and the bottom line is no one can stop it. We just have to prepare. And with that said, I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. would also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.